Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning what is a sprint and how to create sprints in Jira. Okay, so sprints are nothing but, you know, the short iterations or the time periods that uh, typically range from two to four weeks that uh, depends on the respective guidelines in some uh, companies it's a two week sprint or in some companies it is a three week sprint so uh, as per the defined guidelines the sprint time period is defined uh, uh, normally uh, we have uh, like two week sprints so okay and every team is committed to complete a certain number of issues present in the sprint so uh, the sprint has a specific set of issues that needs to be addressed. So say for example, if the sprint is of two weeks, so uh, within two weeks you have to, uh, you know, work on and complete uh, those issues on time as per the uh, sprint duration. And yes, the sprints, uh, they are available in uh, scrum boards. So in Kanban, we don't have any uh, sprint concept. Okay. Uh, another important thing is uh, the issues in the sprints are assigned from the backlog. So the issues are taken from here and uh, they are allocated uh, to the particular sprint. So let us see how we can create a sprint uh, in Jira. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is our backlog. Uh, backlog link is present here you can just click on that uh, link and it will uh, take you to the backlog so these are all the issues uh, that are present in the backlog and we do have uh, uh, sprint 1 DEM sprint 1 so uh, let us uh, try to create another sprint and see uh, what are the steps uh, in creation of a sprint so here you will see this uh, link create sprint so click on create sprint and see it has created another sprint 2 DEM sprint 2 now your next task is to assign the issues to uh, the respective sprints for example I have this sprint 1 now in sprint 1 I need to address suppose demo 2 and demo 3 issues so how will I pull these uh, issues into uh, sprint 1 it's very simple just click on this just uh, drag here and just leave it here so see this issue is added into sprint one similarly you can just drag it and you pull it here okay so this is how we can add an issue into a sprint if you want to remove that issue uh, into a sprint just click on this uh, I mean the drag on this thing and just push it again to the backlog Yeah, like this. So this is how drag and drop works. You can uh, drag and drop the issues into a respective sprint or you can remove uh, the issues from the sprint. Now, after allocating all the issues into your particular sprint, you need to start your sprint. So how you will start your sprint? There is a button, blue button here, start sprint. So just click on that button. Okay, so this is the dialog box. Uh, it has opened and it says that two issues will be included in the sprint as we can see out uh, here now duration so what is the duration of the sprint you want you want for one week two weeks three weeks four weeks or even custom option is also there like five weeks or six weeks or whatever you want to define but generally uh, like uh, it is basically for two weeks so we'll select it here as two weeks what will be the start date suppose uh, you want to start the sprint today so it has already taken and from this date it has calculated the two weeks and see it is showing here as 3rd October so the sprint end date will be 3rd October next part is the sprint goal okay so what all things you want to uh, you know uh, achieve uh, in this particular sprint so you can set any goal so that is basically defined uh, you know by the product owner uh, so uh, say for example, I'll write something here Positively, okay, 
so uh, just for an example i have given some text out here so this is specifically set by you know the product owner uh, so here it is uh, showing that there are 10 working days in the sprint and that's it so uh, okay uh, there is a small warning out here issue dm3 does not have a value for the estimate field values entered after the start of the sprint will be treated as scope change so it is just giving you a small warning that if you change any values after the starting the sprint so the scope of that particular sprint may change so it is better to classify and to update all the issues beforehand before assigning it to the sprint that is the best practice okay so just click on start okay fine so sprint dm1 has successfully started how many days are remaining 10 days are remaining uh, what are the issues to do list these are the issues that are listed out here so this is how uh, you can create a sprint and start a sprint and allocate uh, uh, the respective issues into that okay uh, now coming to our next topic uh, you can even edit a sprint uh, you can reorder a sprint or you can remove an issue from the sprint so quickly let's have a look on that as well okay so uh, again go to the backlog so this is the sprint okay so this sprint has already started see need to cover the two issues positively that is the description I have given and these are the sprint dates so this is the start date uh, today it started and this will be the end date okay uh, now if you want to edit uh, this print okay so this is the workload uh, just click on these three dots and click on edit sprint now you can edit two things in the sprint uh, sprint name and sprint goal suppose i want to give it some other name uh, suppose three sprint goal some you know just um uh, i've taken an example as soon as you click on update see this edited sprint is there it is added here in the backlog with zero issues so this is how you can edit a sprint okay if you want to add any issues then again same thing from the backlog you just pull it here again same thing if you want to do okay so see these two issues are again added to uh, DEM sprint 3 okay uh, next one uh, you can delete the sprint as well uh, for examples click on delete sprint so it will ask you uh, like are you sure you want to delete the sprint you can confirm and the sprint will be deleted so let us see just click on confirm okay so see the sprint that just now we created uh, that got deleted okay so as of now we only have uh, DEM sprint one with the two issues and that's it so uh, this is how you create a sprint and uh, you can edit or you can delete a sprint i hope this is uh, clear to you all and for any questions and uh, doubts just uh, put out a comment and i'll be uh, happy to help thank you very much for watching my video and if you like the video do subscribe my channel and keep sharing the knowledge thank you very much bye bye